Signals Image Artist is our next generation image analysis and management platform for high content screening and cell imaging data. Signals Image Artist is a server based installation which can be installed either on premise, that means within your own infrastructure, or on virtual cloud servers, for example, AWS, Amazon's web services. In addition, you can decide if you want to have it installed on a standard server or if you want to cluster different servers together to build a high performance computing cluster. It's also instrument agnostic. That means you can not only import data from Revity. instruments, but also from the most common other high content screening instruments on the market. The end user just needs a standard web browser to connect to the Signals Image Artist server to browse existing data or to set up new analysis. The multi-parametric results of a batch analysis of one or more plates are stored on the Signals Image Artist server and can be exported or directly be accessed from external tools like Signals Vitro Vivo. The RESTful API of Signals Image Artist allows the direct transfer of results to the Spotfire-based Signals Vitro Vivo the Perkin Elmer tool for doing secondary analysis. Signals Vitro Vivo applies a lot of different algorithms and statistics to the multivariate dataset coming from high content screening, like principal component analysis and TSNE for dimensionality reduction, normalization of data, classification, automated feature selection, curve fitting, and so on and so forth. The image analysis itself so the translation of images into numbers uses so-called building blocks, which are small scripts covering specific parts of an analysis pipeline, like finding nuclei, removing border touching objects, or finally calculate intensity, morphology, or texture parameters. All these building blocks can be mixed and matched to build an analysis pipeline. The pipeline starts with segmenting your objects of interest, like nuclei, whole cells, or maybe only spots. These segmented objects build a population, which can be further refined. You can create new regions in the individual objects, or you can exclude objects based on your individual settings. Once you have defined your final population of interest, you can start quantifying parameters, like measuring intensity, morphology, or texture. A supervised machine learning algorithm allows you to train a linear classifier that will group the whole data set in up to six different classes automatically. To access the Signals Image Artist server, you need the server's web address and your user login credentials. Once you log in, you can browse all the existing data or you can set up a new analysis or start a batch analysis. In the browsing mode, you have access to all the different data sets and all the individual wells. If you have more than one field, you have also access to all the images from the different fields, maybe time points and even z-planes. On the right-hand side, you have access to the individual channel, so you can easily switch on and off individual channels to check some of the stainings more deeply. To start the image analysis itself, we move to the Analysis tab and se select the well, field, and if necessary, time point and that stack of interest. The first step includes some general definitions of the assay itself. If you want to apply some kind of corrections like flat field or bright field correction, how you want to handle the individual Z stacks, if you want to apply the maximum projection or run a real 3D analysis. You can also create a global image which stitches together the different fields of a well to a large image which can be used in the analysis as well. The first building block of our analysis sequence is added by pressing this little plus sign here and choose one of the segmentation building blocks. For example, find nuclei. Within this building block, you define the channel where you would like to find the nuclei. Typically, it's DAPI or Hux staining. And you could also select a population or a specific region if available. The result of the segmentation algorithm is displayed here in the main window. You can change 
the way how you look at this result mask. So for example, give them a solid staining or count each object individually. The default setting of each building block gives you already a good segmentation. But of course you can go deeper in the settings. So for example, select one of the four available methods to identify nuclei or go even further to define the common threshold. So the intensity level, when a signal should be considered as a signal, a minimum area, or even more like splitting coefficient, individual thresholds and contrast setting. All the segmented objects are grouped into a population, which can be named individually. In the next step, we add the next building block, for example, find cytoplasm. This building block will try to find around an existing nuclear population in a specific channel, for example, the tubulin channel, the cytoplasm of each cell. Again, the overlay is displayed and you can check the quality of the segmentation. Now, as we have defined the whole cell, we can really start calculating properties, for example, intensity properties. When calculating properties in Signals Image Artist, you can define in which channel, for which population, and also for which region of the detected object you want to apply this calculation. You can also select which feature should be extracted, in this case the mean intensity, but maybe standard deviation and other aggregation methods for the intensity might be of interest as well. In the same way, we can now add more building blocks to our analysis pipeline. We could find or segment additional objects, we could calculate additional properties like position properties, morphology or texture properties. You can select populations or subpopulations of interest. You can modify populations based on specific filters and thresholds, or you can create different regions within your cells. Once your analysis pipeline is completed, you can save it to the database and then it's ready to be applied in batch mode. To start a batch analysis, we go to the last step, select your plate or screen of interest and select the appropriate analysis sequence you just created. By clicking this arrow, you send it to the server and can now shut down your laptop as all the work is done on the server side. Once an analysis is completed, the result will be saved together with the images in the Signals Image Artist and will be accessible from outside for secondary analysis with, for example, Signals Vitro Vivo. Please contact us if you have further questions or interest in a demo.